Subcar, 2018 Ford Expedition, Lincoln Navigator Get Trailer Backup System, that debuted on F-150. It's finally boating season for the parts of the country that had seasons. Which means extra duty for vehicles capable of human service. About half the people who buy big subs use their vehicles to tow. Because these are among an automaker's most profitable vehicles, engineers are always looking to ensure the ability to pull a trailer, camper, or boat as easily as possible. If you pull up to a boat ramp on a Sunday afternoon, there is often a lineup as drivers struggle to maneuver, the window is down as a companion yells more to the right and the frustrated driver debates whether to give up and go home no fishing today. Some will drive an extra block to avoid backing up a trailer if they have had little practice or confidence. Even the skilled can benefit from technology that reduces the margin of error. So it comes as no surprise that the Pro Trailer Backup Assist feature that made its debut on the 2016 Ford F-Series will be available on the 2018 Ford Expedition full-size sub and its luxury counterpart the 2018 Lincoln Navigator, making them the first in the segment to offer it. Ford officials claim. Of those who tow, 15% are hitching something weekly or monthly, said Ryan Jalanwata, Expedition Marketing Manager. To meet their needs, the 2018 expedition coming later this year has increased towing capacity to 9,300 pounds, up 100 pounds from the outgoing model, with the heavy-duty tow package that beefs up the radiator and oil cooler. That compares with 8,400 pounds for the Chevrolet Tahoe RST. 8,600 pounds for the Dodge Durango, and 8,500 for the Nissan Armada. Ford has not released expedition pricing, or the cost of the tow package. It is a $350 option on the F-150, and there is no reason to believe it should cost more on the expedition. The F-150, which can tow 12,000 pounds, first got Pro Trailer Assist for the 2016 model year, and it is popular, half of buyers opt for the feature. The Super Duty doesn't have it, because it has a hydraulic steering system, which requires the driver to do the steering. The F-150's system was adapted for the Expedition. That required unique tuning, adjusting the algorithms, and, importantly, the rear camera must be positioned differently, because it sits higher on and sub than on the back of a pickup and the wheelbase is different despite sharing the same architecture.